What's going on everyone? My name is Sherwin and we are in the Model Y studios today. Uh, we are on our way uh, to another service appointment with the Model X. Um, I'm not in the Model X studios because Abby is actually driving it and I'm following her. So we are headed in because the clicking, clacking, actually the clacking, uh, although I still have the clicking. But uh, they say that it's being caused by the uh, battery support bar not um, like screwed in all the way. So they have it replaced, they're gonna replace it. And that's where, uh, that's what they're gonna do today. Now, I don't know if I'm really confident that it'll fix it because I just, I just think that clicking is caused by something else, but I'm no mechanic. So let's see what happens. Um, hopefully they just need it for all day today and then um, either pick it up tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, but I did contact the service department via uh, text messaging on the Tesla app. And according to them, they are removing the charge, uh, but it's still there. But I'm pretty sure this is covered by warranty. We only, we only have like, I think over 4,000 miles, so it's still well within our warranty period. So hopefully all goes well and I'll keep you posted. All right, so we are in day two of the latest service center um, visit. And I wanted to go back uh, yesterday and share a couple of things with you all. I found a, uh, an empty parking spot where there is a destination charger and um, was curious uh, and plugged in. So this is a, a six kilowatt uh, charging speed <laughs> charger. So it's pretty slow, but while we were waiting, um, I plugged in my Model Y and got free charging, even though it was only six kilowatt um, in speed. We also saw a um, previous Gen Model X. That looks pretty sharp, looks pretty cool. Um, very shiny. Also, the pillars are blacked out, so here's uh, some video footage and a photo I took before we left the service center. So the other thing uh, I noticed while driving behind Abby on the freeway is um, the rear wheels of the uh, Model X seem to have a negative camber angle. So I'm going to put a link on what, what the camber angles mean because I'm not good at explaining things and uh, yeah. So basically negative uh, angle, it's, it's kind of like um, the wheel is like this. So this is the car, here's the wheel and um, it's kind of the bottom area, the bottom part of the wheel is kind of sticking out. And so I, I read further into it and I guess negative angles for camber is good for uh, grip while doing corners and turning. Um, but it, for regular cars like these, I mean, it shouldn't have a big negative angle. Uh, when I mentioned it to the service department, they said um, it's usually normal to have a slight negative angle to it, um, but the weight of the battery um, pushes the entire wheel down anyway so that um, the bottom, the, the part of the wheel that's making contact to the road, it's still flat. Um, and I think I noticed that as uh, we were driving, it's just the bottom part of the wheel looks like it's slightly sticking out, but I wanted to mention it just to see what they would say. And that is their response. I also asked if they could just check to see if there's gonna be any alignment issues. But basically he asked, um, do you feel the, the steering wheel tugging or the yoke? Uh, tugging uh, to the right or the left because um, that would be one of the first signs of um, misalignments um, but if you let go of the wheel and you're driving forward in a straight line and it's not tugging left or right it's usually a good indicator that um, your alignment is just fine um, and so I haven't seen the car tug left or right um, while driving in a straight line so I don't think it's gonna be a concern at this moment so now day two um, we were given a notification two hours after we dropped off the car that the car was done. 
I was like, wow, is, is it really that simple of a problem that they fixed? Again, I'm not confident that that's going to get rid of that clicking sound. The clang, clanking, clacking sound, uh, more than likely, it'll get rid of it. But that clicking, I really think it's just something else based on um, some of you viewers who have shared um, fixes for, for those sounds. It's something else. Now, the other thing too is I haven't received a message from the service tech manager because normally that's that's it. Like once I got that bad experience in December and I met the uh, the service tech manager, I, I just asked him like if we can schedule my appointments when he is available because I would like for him to do the uh, final inspection before reaching out. And so because of that, I wanted to extend it and leave it there. And now when I go back into the app, it looks like the car is back in service mode. So it looks like they are gonna do um, inspections. I, I really wish this is something that um, they do. I, I, I don't know if it's just in this service, this dealership location that they don't do these inspections, but I, I don't know. I mean, it 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 does. It seems out of the ordinary that I have to do these things, uh, make make contact with certain people just to ensure that they are inspecting these cars once they're done with the service center. I mean, I I, I don't know. It just it sucks. Um, it should be part of the the checklist whenever they service a car that there is a final inspection. And if there is a final inspection, then why do I have to go out of my way? To, to get in touch with um, certain uh, people to, to have them also inspect it. But regardless, I mean, right now at, at this stage, even though service has been improving, I, I don't have that confidence um, in getting the car back uh, better or if not the same condition as I left it with them. So hopefully we hear uh, something in the next few hours I'm not really sure, but right now the car is in service mode and hopefully we hear back today. A few hours later. See this? You see this? You see this? <laughs> you see this? I got a big smile on my face. Uh, picked up the Model X and apparently they have to put it in service mode because it's inside their garage and they gotta fix it. So. Um, it was being inspected and um, went to go and pick it up and we drove it around, no noise. Got home, backed up in the drive, man. Yeah, I, I drove it back in the driveway and forward on the driveway where it normally happens. see this I, I can't I just have a big smile on my face because I think I think our Model X problems have now all been fully solved at least the ones that we've experienced since delivery day five months later multiple visits to the service center oh man oh man so I'm, I'm really I'm really happy. Uh, I mean, we're gonna drive it uh, a, a few more times just to make sure, but uh, boy, I'm wrong. So maybe that plate was the cause of the clicking cause it's gone, it's gone. Like it's, it's silent. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's go over the um, invoice. And so basically the invoice says, Customer states clunking sounds coming from the rear of the vehicle when coming out of his driveway. Special order parts. So I think they made a mistake. It's not the rear of the vehicle, it's the, the front of the vehicle. So then they next they say verified customer concern found clicking noise to be coming from front of vehicle. Upon diagnosis, found noise to be coming from 
front HV battery skid plate. So in the previous uh, video where I did my little diagram and stuff, um, that's what they explained to me and they shared some pictures. If you haven't checked out that video, please go check that out. Uh, replace front HV battery skid plate. Test drove vehicle and verified noise is no longer present. Yes, very true. So the correction is skid plate front, remove and replace. And uh, I've also included the part number and everything. Um, wow, uh, man, now this five month old car feels brand new again <laughs> with no, oh, I just, I'm sorry. I'm just happy because this has been like the first since we took delivery of the car that we can probably start enjoying. I mean, it's not like we didn't enjoy it before, but like part of my mind I'm like this this car is now problem free and hopefully it stays that way um, but yeah I'm uh, man persistence patience my goodness so yeah um, I guess that's it for this video um, the only thing I wanted to share before I end this video is uh, Tesla Club SoCal um, is a large group in Southern California uh, they are planning a February 18th uh, caravan to Harris Ranch I'm gonna put a, a link down below and then I'll, I'll share the poster or flyer um, I plan on going I've registered it's free uh, at least the registration thing didn't say it, it cost anything um, so just go check it out if you're in the California area I believe there's uh, other Tesla clubs uh, from Northern California that's also going to come because we're meeting in Harris Ranch, which is like Central California, um, February 18th, which is a Saturday. So I haven't um, really did a caravan with them yet. I ran into them a few months ago uh, when they were doing a caravan to Las Vegas and I have a video of that. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Um, really cool people. The, the, the cars there, man, it's like I, I would have never expected that Tesla to be a normal car. Um, what I mean by normal car, but there's just so many aftermarket products and parts that you could install in these vehicles. Um, it's just amazing what people have done to their vehicles. Um, there's also other uh, EV uh, cars there, not just Tesla. Um, in the last time I saw them, they had a Ford Lightning, actually three Ford Lightnings, uh, a Lucid, and some other some other brands there so hopefully uh we can see other cars uh, maybe some uh from hyundai and um, kia so man I'm, I'm i'm excited and hopefully uh plans don't change and i i can uh, uh go and hang out uh, i will be doing videos if i do end up going so stay tuned for that um <laughs> man i'm just happy i'm just happy i i think we fixed all the problems <laughs> What am I going to do in this playlist now? <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing, right? No more broken, you know, service department playlist. I don't know. Um, I, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like the video, please like the video. I'm going to go ahead and see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.